Did you ever want to know all the secrets behind the scenes of the current Halloween trilogy? Well, David Gordon Green and the filmmakers behind it are going to spill all the beans. And I'm ready to eat. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, this is a video that I'm really excited to put out there. I just found out this information not too long ago. And as a big fan of movies, and especially when we're talking about the Halloween franchise, and also a collector of things with franchise information, this is awesome news. So I got to tell you guys about it. Really cool stuff. And David Gordon Green and all the secrets that were behind the Halloween trilogy and how we got Michael back on the big screen, I think we're going to find out a lot of cool stuff. I'm really, really thinking so. But before I get into everything, if you haven't hit the like button, please do. It helps to support the channel. If you are a fan of movies, if you're a fan of Halloween, if you're a fan of horror, this is the place for you, the Night Watch Zone. So please subscribe and join our wonderful community. So we've got information from Fangoria Magazine itself and let me tell you, this is awesome stuff, guys. The article says David Gordon Green's trilogy gets an official making of book. Oh, wow. Read the journey. Read about the journey of bringing Michael Myers back for Halloween, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. Very, very cool. It says of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode as told by director David Gordon Green in his trilogy of Halloween movies is getting an official making of book rather appropriately the book will hit shelves just in time for Halloween Titan Books is set to publish Halloween the official making of Halloween Halloween kills and Halloween ends next month and we've got a peek at the cover as well as some interior pages from the forthcoming book this is just such cool news guys I'm just so excited for this See anything you like? We've got more information from this article from Fangoria saying, according to Penguin Random House, this is the official companion book to the most recent Halloween trilogy, which was produced by Universal Pictures and Blumhouse Productions. Man, it's going to feature behind the scenes photography, interviews with the cast and crew, and I cannot wait to read all of this. The cover looks very cool. It's very much like the cover or the artwork, I should say, for Halloween 2018. Um, and man, it just looks really, really cool. Written by Abby Bernstein. So, wow, so cool. The article talks a little bit more, and you guys can also check out this article. It says, Green revived the franchise after more than a decade away. Before he stepped in, the most recent entries were Rob Zombie's Halloween films, which completely rebooted the series and proved to be quite divisive. Green then decided to make a direct sequel to Carpenter's original 78 classic, which made it possible to bring back Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode, while also simplifying the continuity of the series. It worked like gangbusters as 2018's Halloween earned more than $255 million at the box office. It remains the highest grossing slasher film ever. You're goddamn right. That's so cool. Um, that they're going to give us this real amazing sneak peek behind the journey to making this trilogy happen. And also all the little things behind the scenes of each of these movies. I'm just so excited about this, guys. And you guys know me. I've done a lot of content on Halloween and especially on this trilogy. And I've been able to find little pieces of information here and there. And I think that this is going to be like the definitive source and giving us so much more than we've ever had before. I really, really do. The article also says, given that the film only had a $10 million budget, Blumhouse and Universal made quick work of giving the green light to not one, but two sequels. Green directed all three with kills hitting theaters in 2021, followed by ends in 2022. Both films were also big hits at the box office, though they were also released on Peacock, which may have hurt ticket sales a bit, which is absolutely true. I think that, especially with ends, I think that they probably should have kind of pivoted away from doing the released date 
in the theaters and on streaming at the same time. I understand why they did it for kills because we were right in the heart of the pandemic. But for ends, I definitely think that it uh, hurt ticket sales for sure. Um, but either way, these three movies were very profitable. And also one thing that can't be denied, and I truly believe this, is that the Halloween franchise and Michael Myers as a horror icon is that it's most popular that it's ever been. We have the celebration for the 45 years coming up, and we are only five years away, guys, from the 50th anniversary of this franchise, which is mind-blowing. It's absolutely mind-blowing. So no matter which films we love or maybe some that we're frustrated by, you have to give credit to this franchise going strong for 50 years. It's absolutely, to me, it's phenomenal. Green's trilogy is a fascinating undertaking, particularly because Ends really does provide a definitive conclusion to the series. The movies are worth a deep dive. I totally agree. The official description of the book reads as follows. The making of this much anticipated movie trilogy is covered in fascinating detail in this official companion book. The creative processes behind the stunts, costumes, production design, and makeup effects are revealed through interviews with the cast and crew while captivating on-set photography captures the shooting of the key scenes and action set pieces. A must for all horror fans, Halloween 2018 through 2022, the official making of the film reveals the method behind the terror. I'm hooked, guys. I'm hooked. This is amazing. It's going to arrive on October 17th, and you can pre-order one of these books at penguinrandomhouse.com. I'm going to have the link in the description, but my goodness, guys, this is amazing stuff. You know I already got mine pre-ordered. These pictures that they have, they gave us a few of the images that are going to be in the book. They look absolutely phenomenal, showing how they did the molds for the mask and also the makeup uh, for James Jude Courtney playing Michael Myers, of course. Uh, fantastic stuff, showing the costumes, showing all the crew on the set working. Um, really, really cool stuff, guys. I absolutely love this. And the fact that they're covering all three movies instead of you know one book at a time for each movie, I think that's really cool as well. Um, some of these images are just fascinating. And, and some of the things that you don't always get a chance to see for a long period of time on screen, because, you know, obviously everything is moving, but you get to see even things like Michael's hand and how damaged it was after he took the shotgun by Laurie Strode. Very, very cool stuff showing the stunt doubles um, and just images from the film. I think that this is an absolute home run for folks that are fans of these movies or just movie fans in general, guys. It's always interesting to me to kind of hear from cast and crew members and stuff like that. One of my favorite possessions that I have is the Crystal Lake Memories book that covers the entire Friday the 13th franchise. And it's it's just got so much insight, you know, and you, you also have really cool stories from the different actors and actresses and people on the crew. And I think that this book will also do a lot of justice uh, for Halloween. So I'm really excited about it. You guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you excited uh, for this? Are you thinking about getting it? Will you get it? Will you pre-order it? It's coming out pretty soon, guys. And I think that it's going to be a great collector item, especially for all of us that are Halloween fans. So let me know in the comment section down below. And we can talk about it. Also, if you haven't hit the like button, please do. It helps to support the channel, and I'd appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to the Nightwatch Zone, this is the time to do it. Do it, and we can continue to have so much fun as an awesome movie community as we head into Halloween season. It's a great time of the year, in my opinion. So I'll talk to you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the Nightwatch. Peace. Peace.